and welcome to my video on safety hacks. Now these are safety hacks for toddlers and for crawlers and for basically any baby that is active. So these are my top tips for safe proofing your home because believe me those little fingers are going to get into everything. One of the best ways to make sure that plug sockets are safely away from little fingers is in scotch tape. Scotch tape is like sellotape but it's really easy to peel back and forth so it means that if you do need to use a socket you can take it off and then stick it back on again. And another way thing you could use also would be clear plasters or band-aids. They also are fantastic for covering plug sockets or any other small holes. And if any of you like us have a hearth in your lounge area or in any of the other rooms in your house, probably it has sharp edges on it. Now it's one of those things that's kind of built into the house and it's a feature and one day it's going to look beautiful again but for now it needs to be covered up because what we don't want is baby slipping and banging their head on those sharp edges. So one thing I found great, I've got all these um, foam towels for the floor and I thought I would put those over it but because they have joins and it's like a little step where the hearth is, um, they just tend to fall apart. So what I have started using is a yoga mat and this works perfectly for the job and it makes sure that those um, corners are covered and soft so that if there aren't any bumps into them they're not going to cause too much damage. Then the question comes how do you keep babies out of cupboards? Now I have devised a couple of ways. First of all I was going to get some of those or I did buy some of those things that you put on the cupboard door and then they're like safety locks and you like press them to open the cupboard and close the cupboard and then I wondered how I was going to attach them and that required me needing a drill and screws and I kind of just went off the idea so I found something way simpler and it really depends there's two different options it just depends um, with what kind of cupboards you've got you can either use an elastic band and you can hook that over the two cupboard doors that two cupboard door handles that are next to each other once your baby's like a toddler, like two or three, they can definitely get into these. But if you're looking at a baby that's like eight months old, it just learned to crawl, up until they really know better, this is, this is perfectly suffice. And you can always add a couple of extra elastic bands. The other one is the little toy clip. You know what you would clip toys onto your buggy or pram with? These are great if you've got loop handles. You can just clip the clip over the handles Again, you can use two or three. You can get some that are stronger than others. So some, those little hands definitely can't get off even, no matter how hard they pull. And that just means that they can't get into the cupboards. One other thing I found that really helped was I have designated a cupboard to Sydney that's just full of like stuff that's safe for him to play with but isn't too much like his toys. Like I think there's a wooden spoon and a whisk in there and a saucepan and things that he knows are in my cupboards that he wants to get out. Um, but aren't going to do him any harm and he'll happily play away in that cupboard for ages while I'm trying to do other stuff. Next is a real simple one and it's something I didn't think of um, and one day I realised these little hands could just reach out further than I thought and they knocked my glass off the table, off the coffee table and smashed it on the floor and oh my goodness, boy was I in a panic because how do you even begin to get little shards of glass up off the floor? Um, like you need to get them up so that like usually you would sweep and then you would hoover and you, you know you'd make sure they weren't there but you were only thinking about your own feet and now you've got to think about these little tiny person's hands that are softly crawling all over the floor so you've really got to make sure every single scrap of glass is up so that was the first and last time I made that mistake and since then I have bought some plastic beads now they're not particularly um, beautiful looking ones so you can get much better ones but these were all I could obtain in Ealing at short notice so um, yeah, you can just any kind of plastic beaker for yourself, for you to drink out of. This isn't for the kids, this is for you in case they can reach your drink. Otherwise, just make 100% sure it's always out of reach. Another great thing to have on hand is some door wedges. These are not just the ones that go under the doors, these go around the side of the door so that if the doors slammed, you can't trap little fingers in there. And it also works on both sides of the door so the hinges can't close as well. So if they're got their little fingers in there and the doors not, their door hinges are not going to close on their hands either so that's another great thing to have. Um, what else do we do around the home? I also bought a Baby Dan XXL, well actually I bought two because um, the way that our place is so open plan I wanted to make it so that Sydney could 
see into the kitchen and could see out of the back door but couldn't actually get into the kitchen or to the back door where there are like numerous pairs of shoes and his pram and everything else that he loves to get into. So I've configured it around the room so he's got most of the living area, the living room space is fine for him to play with because it's all perfectly safe. And then as it goes into the other room, I've just done like a little snake shape just to make sure that he is particularly safe. And because I got two, it means it's got two gates, which is great because I can have one that I can get into the kitchen and one that um, lets me out the back door. So yeah, loving the baby down XXL as well. So I hope those tips helped you. Um, they certainly helped me and I just wanted to share the love and spread the word that there are um, great easy ways to safe zone your house. So I hope you enjoyed watching today guys, it's been really great to have you here and if you did enjoy this video then please don't forget to like and subscribe and that way you won't miss anything from me going forward. There's a subscribe button up here now so you can just hit that and it'll take you straight through to my page. Alright guys, thanks for watching, I hope to see you again soon. Bye!